Hey, this is Jason from Weekend RV Adventures, and I'm here with another install and uh, initial review video. I mentioned in the last video I did that a company named Suffner had reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to check out any of their products and uh, do a review and share them with my community. And uh, I saw a couple products I thought were interesting. The last video was a uh, little shower bar that goes across the corner shelves in your shower to help keep the things from falling off, which I thought would be pretty cool to keep them in place while you're using the shower and maybe while you're traveling down the road so you don't have to unload that stuff out of the shower and then put it back in when you arrive at your destination. So uh, go back and check out that video if you want. In this video, I'm going to check out their uh, screen door grill. And that's a metal protector that goes across the screen door. Uh, on my Valor here behind me, it's a toy hauler. So instead of using it on the front door, my plan is to use it on the back door here in the garage area because I'm worried about bikes and kayaks and things like that falling and hitting and busting the screen out. Uh, it's also good for dogs and small kids though, so they don't push your screen out. So we're gonna install it here. Uh, I've got the box, I'll open it up, let you see what's in the box, uh, then we'll take a look at the instructions and go ahead and start on the install. All right, so I've got the instructions out here. Uh, I got the box all unpacked and uh, it looks pretty simple. Inside the box, you've got the main uh, metal screen door grill. There's two packages of hardware, one with some uh, bolts and nuts to lock everything together. And then another package has some self-tapping screws for uh, mounting it to the door. All right, the instructions look pretty straightforward. First thing we got to do is go inside and mark the inside where the door jam uh, touches the edge of the door itself. That way when you go to install the grill, you don't make it too wide where it would hit the door jam. After that, we're going to loosen up the screws on the grill just so we can slide those panels around to adjust it. And then uh, we'll lock them down to the correct size. And uh, then there's a couple extra bolts that uh, come with it. There's a couple just holding it together. It looks like there's four in there holding it together. And then there's four additional ones that you use to lock it down when you get it in the final size you want. And then we'll go open it up. We'll mark our holes on the inside, uh, drill a couple pilot holes. And for that, I'm using a 332nd drill bit. Uh, they don't really call out what size pilot hole to use, but uh, I figured that should give me enough of a hole to get started with these screws. And then uh, we'll bolt it in place. So pretty simple instructions. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, before I mark out the uh, edges of the screen door, I'm going to take some of this blue painter's tape and just line it along the edge of the door here where I'm going to mark. That way, it's easy to see my marks. I'm worried the pencil marks on the black door might not show up well. But I'm sure with this painter's tape, it shouldn't be a problem to see where I'm putting my marks. So we'll just put a little strip of painter's tape on this side. And... Uh, Come over here and do the same thing on this side. All right, I'm inside here, and uh, there you can go. You can see there's the tape. There's the edge of the door jam. So we're just going to put a line right there. Um, now, although I'm putting that line there, you can kind of see that the door sticks out a little farther here, and then it's recessed back here. So I'm going to have to mount it on this surface of tire because, oh, the light's messing with us there. I'm going to have to mount it on this higher surface here and uh, just let that lower surface be back behind. So I think rather than lining up to my marks that line up with the edge of the jam over here, I'm just going to line up to this edge of the door that sticks out higher. And uh, that's the surface I'm going to mount to and line up to. Now that we're out here with the door open, I'll uh, zoom in a little bit better to show you what I was talking about there. You can see the uh, edge of that door where this protrudes farther than that. Um, and my mark is way out here. That's where the door jam hits. So we're going to mount the door even with this surface. And we're going to try and center it up so that it uh, just lines up with this screen area between the little metal part at the top and the metal part right below where the handle is. Okay, now that that's marked, as I said, the next step is to loosen up these four screws that came pre-installed. So I'll just take... Uh, wrench here oh, looks like we're going to need a screwdriver on the back side and this is a eight millimeter uh, socket so we'll take that screwdriver and eight millimeter and just loosen those four bolts up and this has been sitting out here in the sun it is a little warm i uh, recommend if you do this install uh, don't leave this thing sitting out in the sun too long. It gets hot. All right, so here's the panel. Uh, I've loosened up the screws, and this is adjustable from, I think it said 22 
to uh, 31 and a half inches, so it should fit almost any screen door in a camper. Um, from what I've seen, I think they're all pretty much the same size, so I don't think there's much variation. Um, now, I don't think you have to line these up centered if uh, you don't care, but sometimes I'm a little OCD, so I'm going to make sure that uh, the overlap on the left and right panels, where they overlap the middle panel, is about the same. And uh, I'm just setting it down here on the edge and uh, going to kind of guess here. I'm going to line up the holes on this side. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes showing on this side. And then over on this side, or I should say seven holes overlapping. And uh, I'll get this one pretty close to where I want it and see how it looks. So on this side, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six holes overlapping. So a little different from one side to the other, but uh, you know what? I think I'm going to live with that because I could offset them half a hole each side, but then you'd see the holes in the pattern on here overlapping a little bit, and I'd rather keep it nice and clean. Uh, I'll give you a closer shot of that so you can see what I'm talking about. But it looks like, okay, six on this side, seven on that side. Uh, lines up right about even with that spot on the door I talked about. So we'll get this down. Uh, we'll tighten up those screws a little bit and put the extra two screws in there. And then we'll lay out where our uh, holes are gonna go. All right, so now that we're down here, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and snug these up a little bit so that it can't move. Uh, gonna try and get those holes lined up exactly where I had them before, which was pretty easy with just that hole pattern. Flip it around and get this side. Okay, slid a little bit, so I'll just double check my numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. So right there is where we want to be. And I'm going to put the screwdriver on the back side just to tighten it down. Go ahead and do the same thing on this one. Sure I'm happy with alignment. All right, now that those initial four bolts are tightened down, I'm just going to take the other set of four out of the bag and uh, go ahead and get them all installed too. All right. Now that the grill is all tightened down and locked to size, last thing we have to do is just get it uh, positioned on the door. And to do that, I'm going to measure the height of the grill, measure the height of my opening, and uh, just center it up in the middle. So it looks like this grill is exactly 20 inches tall. And my opening is 20 and 3 eighths, so it almost covers this whole area. Um, we're going to drop it 3 16 down from the top and that should center us up. So let me get some marks on there and then we'll get the grill put in place. All right, I've got my marks laid out. So now I'll just put this up and we've got four holes in the corners. We'll just uh, copy those over onto the tape and then be ready to drill our pilot holes. All right, I've got my four holes laid out. Now I'll get the drill and, uh, sorry, I keep saying four holes. There's actually six holes, one in each corner and one in the middle on each side. So we'll get that laid out, drill the six holes and then come back and install it. All right, with the holes all drilled, we'll go ahead and peel this tape off. Get 
blow the chips out from, uh, blow the shavings out of there from drilling and uh, go ahead and start putting this door on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use a power tool to help put this on just because uh, I think it'll be easier than trying to hold it up there and get a screw started by hand. So we'll get uh, the first screw up here in the first hole. Go get it lined up to our pilot hole. And just gently let that hang for a second. And come over here to the opposite side. Again, get the screw lined up. Just step back, take a quick look to make sure everything looks straight. And uh, looks like our gaps are even at the top. Gaps are even at the sides and all our pilot holes line up. So we'll go ahead and get the other four screws started and then uh, tighten them all down. All right, all six screws are in. Uh, there's one extra. I also had one extra of the uh, bolts that you use to tighten down the panels of the grill, but uh, I'd rather have a couple extras in the pack than not have enough. So, last thing we got to do is go ahead and just make sure this door will close. Did notice this does make the door considerably heavier opening and closing it, uh, but uh, I think it will provide some nice protection on the inside. All right, it's a little dark in here, but we'll see what we can do. There you go. Uh, door closes. See if we can get in here and look at these gaps. There you go. Plenty of clearance on the uh, edge between the door and the jam. Same thing on the other side there. And here's a view a little further back. Uh, as you can see, I've got some bikes loaded up in here right now. A uh, tripod stabilizer for the front. Uh, I need to do a video on that too uh, at some point, tell you guys what I think about that. Um, didn't have that before. I had a steady fast system on my last camper and switched to the tripod on this one, but that'll be another video. So keep an eye on the channel if you're interested in whether that thing works or not. Um, but here we go. Yeah, looks like it should be a nice improvement. Keep that screen door protected and uh, be good to go. All right, so that about wraps up the install of the uh, Safner screen door grill. Again, like the uh, shower bars uh, pretty easy install went great uh, i'm happy with the quality of the product so far looks like it'll do the job that it's supposed to do so if you take a look in the video description below i'll have links to the uh the safner product catalog on amazon also links to this and the screen door direct or the uh, sorry this grill and the uh, shower thing directly if you're interested in those again go back check out that other video uh, also check out the channel if you want to see some more product reviews some more installs or see some of the adventures we go on so hope you enjoyed the video, uh, like it, subscribe, and uh, happy camping.